I'm Mike, N2MAK, and I recently got the new MobiLink TNC4. It's a neat piece of kit that lets you do WinLink email, APRS messaging, and much more from an inexpensive HT, like a Bofang. Let me show you how it works and tell you about a few of the mistakes I made along the way. And just to be clear, I'm not an affiliate at all. All the gear that I'm going to use in this video, I bought on my own. MobiLink released the TNC4 in early 2023, but what exactly is it? It's a KISS modem. It simply decodes and encodes packet signals. The TNC4 connects to your smartphone with Bluetooth and uses apps like APRS Droid or APRS.fi to provide the GPS data, APRS packet formatting, and other info. This allows you to use APRS and even WinLink with a radio that doesn't have it natively. Connecting the TNC4 is as easy as plugging in a cable and briefly holding down the power button. We'll use the quote-unquote legal GT5R to keep the comments PG. MobiLink makes a free app that you install on your smartphone to manage the TNC4 settings. Let's make sure we have ours set up correctly for the radio. Open the MobiLink app and click on the TNC4 to connect to it. Let's start by setting the input audio settings. We'll adjust the volume so it's in the green. For the audio output, we need to set to simplex for a Balfang. My Yezu FT4XR uses the multiplex setting instead. There is a test tone you can use to see if your PTT setting is working correctly. Just use a second radio to be sure you can hear it. If you're using a Baofeng, there's some settings on your radio you'll need to pay close attention to. Make sure that the squelch tail elimination is turned off. This is menu option 35, S-T-E, on most fangs. If you program your radios in Chirp, you can uncheck the box for that feature in the settings. Regardless of the radio, you want to be sure your squelch is set to zero and also be sure you don't have dual watch or dual receive enabled. On the Baofeng menu, this is number 7 TDR, and it should be set to off. Let's get started with WinLink first. You'll need to create your account on the WinLink website if you don't already have one. There is no charge for this either. Since I have an iPhone, I'll be using the Radio Mail app. All I need to do in Radio Mail is add my WinLink account and then select the MobiLink TNC4 for the Packet Kiss TNC modem. Now we just need to find a gateway nearby. After selecting a gateway, click Connect. Now we're connected and it will download any messages. We have a very nice and familiar user interface where we can read and compose emails. Let's start with a new email to check into WinLink Wednesday. We'll click the new message icon, add our recipient, our subject, and type our message. When finished, click to post the message to the outbox. To send it, we'll need to reconnect. After the message is sent, we can disconnect, and we're done with email. For APRS, on the Bofang, I'm using the APRS.fi app. You can create a free account on their website. However, there is a charge for the app. And if you want to unlock additional features like messaging, you'll need to do an in-app purchase. Setup is simple. Just click on the More icon in the bottom right. After adding your login info under My Account, Click TNC and DSP modem. This is where you add the MobiLinked TNC4. You can also configure a number of settings, but I think I left all the default ones in place. If we click Beacon, we can beacon our current position, as well as adjust the interval and some other settings. If you click Messages, this is where, you guessed it, you can read and send messages to other APRS radios and even cell phones. To send a text message to a cell phone, you can use SMS gate. 
SMS GTE. SMS Gate is free and you can learn more about it at their website. I'll add a link to that and the other resources in the description below. When you compose a message to SMS Gate, just do the at symbol and the 10 digit phone number without dashes. Then add some text to send it. Recipients can reply directly to the text and their message will be sent back to your APRS radio station. Lastly, we're going to check into the APRS Thursday net. We will send a message to the announcement server, ANSRVR. The message should start with CQ space HOTG space your message. And now we click send. We'll start getting messages from others checking into the net. Jason at Ham Radio 2.0 has recently done some videos on APRS Thursday. So check them out to learn more about this new net. So why did I do this? I'll give you three reasons. First of all, it's fun. Ever since I was studying for my amateur radio license, I thought it was fascinating that you could use a radio to send email or text messages. Number two, it's easy. Most hams already have an HT and a smartphone. This is a simple way that you can enhance those capabilities. Plus, the user interface on apps like Radio Mail and APRS.FI is much better than the user interface that you're gonna see on radios. Number three, it's redundant. I've got multiple ways now that I can do WinLink and APRS. I can do HF WinLink using my ICOM 705 or 7300. I can do VHF WinLink using my ICOM 705 or any of the HTs. And then I can do APRS with any of the HTs in the MobiLink. I've got multiple cables so I can easily swap them out. This gives me flexibility when I'm packing whether it's for a family vacation, a work trip, and of course, soda and poda activations. I hope you enjoyed this video. There's a lot more to cover with WinLink and APRS. For example, spotting for parks on the air activations, which is something I'll cover in another video. If you haven't already, please click like and subscribe to my channel. If you have a comment or a question, leave it down below and I'll do my best to respond. I'm Mike and 2MAK73. Try it one more time. Number two, it's easy. Number two, it's easy. Most of us already have a smartphone and an HT. 